Ladies and gentlemen, Andy of Revive the Rose in the yeah, building! Hell yeah! <laughs> What's up, buddy? Yo, yo. How you been, brother? Dude, I'm I'm great. This is fucking awesome. How's it going? It's going good. Good to see you. Looking well. Uh, for those that may not know who you are, could you please properly introduce yourself? Let us know where you are in the world and uh, plug or promote anything you would like. Sure, sure. Yeah, well... I, uh, my name is Andy Kalonico, and I come from uh, the great white north of uh, Canada, and uh, specifically, uh, I'm just going to say Niagara Falls, Ontario, just because uh, no one knows what the hell Welland, Ontario is. Um, and yeah, I'm the lead singer of a rock band called Revive the Rose, and uh, technically I'm also the drummer, but uh, just in the studio, not in the live shows. So, yeah. <laughs> why, uh, why, why is that? So you, you just... You haven't found a drummer that that is good enough to translate from the live to the recordings, or you just well, prefer band, your style of because you wrote the music. Yeah, no the the band started off with me as drummer and lead singer live. Uh, I used to have like a like one of those wireless microphones, like those what those like Zumba instructors use. But <laughs> uh, every sound guy hated me. So <laughs> and then. Uh, also, we did like this radio competition, and uh, you know, uh, they just pointed out like uh, they they would prefer a front presence, and that kind of put an idea in my head. I'm like, I've always wanted to be a front man. Like, I've always like visioned like that'd be kind of cool. And uh, yeah, so I tried out. Uh, we got we had a drummer fill in for me, like as I went up front, and it, it went really well, and people really liked it. And I had a lot of fun. So. Um, but and then we tried having a full time drummer as like a permanent member and it didn't really go well. So we reverted back to a four piece band technically. So I'm like full kind of creative control when it comes to drumming. Um, and in live, we have just our buddy who actually really enjoys just like only playing the live shows. Like he just has fun playing our music. So cool. uh, it kind of just works out well that way, you know. Does this is a this is a weird thing, but would you ever incorporate like somehow going from like in the middle of the show, going from singing to like putting on that Zumba thing and then jumping on the drums for a second and like playing one song that way? Because to me, like visually seeing that, like you be like stepping around and doing that would just be like a really cool element of the live show. Yeah, well, you know, the band has definitely evolved because it's been since 2017 since I've been behind the kit. Um, so the band's definitely evolved where, like, everyone moves more on stage now. Like, everyone's, like, flying all over the place now. So, like, I feel like it wouldn't be, like, boring to look at as it was back in the day almost where everyone just kind of, like, stood too still almost. But, uh, yeah, I would totally give it a go, like, for a song or two, you know? Why not? Just, Hell like, yeah. I think you're right. You're a cool element in the live show for sure. That'd be cool. Uh, before I do play, I'm going to play a bunch of music, but uh, I know you have like a pretty big tour lined up. Can we plug the tour? Yeah, yeah. We're uh, we're going on tour with uh, 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 our friends Adam and the Metal Hucks, who have uh, recently over the pandemic become a TikTok sensation. Um, yeah, and they're, they're, they're freaking awesome. I, uh, I really enjoy their music, and uh, Adam is just an incredible vocalist, and... Uh, we kind of just had the stars aligned and uh, we, we just uh, were able to put a tour together and uh, there's more dates to come right now. We've only uh, announced five of them, but we are planning on doing more with them. So um, that's awesome. We're Congrats. Very excited. Congratulations. That's awesome. We're Thanks, gonna dude. We're going to play uh, live my best life, but who is Amy Gaba? Yeah, right on. Um, yeah. A uh, Amy Gaba is a great friend of ours and she's a Toronto, Ontario musician technically from Alberta, but uh, yeah, she moved to Toronto and she's very well known uh, in the ska punk community here. Um, fantastic musician, great singer and great writer and uh, very awesome person. Yeah. So we, uh, we were supposed to do like a, a pandemic uh, digital cover originally. Like I was going to do like, we'll cover a song and put like the two videos side by side. And then uh, we just kind of like, we're like, why don't we just write a song and, I had the ska demo lying around. I'm like, 
my band never does ska, but like I know you do ska. And I like I wrote a ska song. I'm like, let's just do it. So that's so cool. Yeah, uh, yeah, and that's that's how this happened, and it's it's great. I filmed that music video that uh, that's prompted on the screen there. I filmed it on iMovie, so uh, yeah, it came out okay for iMovie. <laughs> let's check it out. Here we go. Revive the Rose, live my best life, featuring Amy Gabba. Yo, is that an actual park bench at the skate park? Yeah, yeah. It, that it, is it's cool. A, it's a literally a bench. That thing is rad, dude. <laughs> Andy, give me your worst gig story ever. Everything went wrong at this gig. Oh, man. I'm, uh, I'm going to go right back to our first tour ever as a band for that one. Um, we were touring Ontario for the first time in our lives. And uh, we, 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 we actually went to Montreal and we ended, the, the booze is really cheap in Montreal. So we got like honestly so shittered um, and we showed up to this gig and uh, we ended up blacking out. Like I, my, my guitar player fell through my drum kit and like, I, I don't even know. I don't even remember. And then my, and then my other guitar player's amp broke. Uh, so he was plugged into my other guitar player's amp. Like two guitars were plugged into one amp. And then we got in like a screaming match with like this homeless person under a staircase, like behind the venue. <laughs> she was like, just, we sucked. And we're like, you know what? You suck. <laughs> they were just chirping the shit out of us. And like, I don't know. We, it was just like, that's all I recall the night is like literally two seconds of that gig. And then like us yelling at like this homeless person that was yelling at us. And like, that was it. But we still got paid. So that was okay. You still got paid. Yeah. Hell yeah. Let's go. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> do you guys do a lot of acoustic acoustic sets? I know you have a lot of acoustic guitars behind you, so I'm wondering if there's a, a lot of like unplugged stuff that we when you play live. We yeah, we, we we don't pull it out usually in the full band stuff, but uh we have done full acoustic shows before and uh I think our songs translate well acoustically, and uh, this was kind of a nice of a uh, best of both worlds. Uh, a shout to Garage Band for the bongo loop, though that was uh, I ended up making the real studio cut. So uh, hell yeah, that was cool. It has <laughs> it has like a a little bit of like an STP vibe to me on this one. Oh, we love STP, man. Hell yeah! Shout out to Scott, RIP, man. But uh, what a what an amazing voice. What happened? That when uh, we we went to book a show. In Toronto at some venue, and uh, they 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 didn't book us because of that right there. Because of the lockdown, yeah, but like I, we, we didn't put that on the wall. Like some some dude put that there, but we just like we just walked by it. <laughs> but like yeah, they're like yeah, we we think that's weird that that's in your video, so we're we're gonna pass on booking you. Hey like, yo, right. what the fuck? Yo, that <laughs> that is weird. Yeah. That, that they was would. My brain when I read that. They <laughs> wouldn't book you because of some graffiti on the wall that you didn't write. Wow. I mean, wow. Yeah. Wow. That's just ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> uh, Andy, are you done to uh, review some bands with me and or do some trivia? You could win a prize. I, I would love to do that. Well, I need to I need to know some things about you uh, regarding the trivia. What would you say is your strongest movie knowledge and or TV show knowledge? Any movie or any TV show, franchise, series, whatever you want. It could even be a video game. Oh man, um, I'm I'm like the worst with this uh, with the movie department, but like I, you know, when I know it, I know it. Um, I guess like more so like funny movies, I guess, or like any. Uh, I might know a little bit about superhero movies, but uh, have you seen? Yeah. Okay, what about uh, have you seen Superbad? I have seen Superbad. Yeah, let's do some Superbad trivia. Give me a second to queue it up. Uh, Sky Drifter. Chasing Ghosts. Let me know what you think of this band. Uh, is it Porcupine Tree? No, it's not Porcupine Tree. It's uh, oh, what the fuck are they called? Ah, uh, oh, this is this is cool though. I like this. Ah, uh, what the fuck are they called? This band's out of uh, Nevada. This band's out of Nevada right here. Sorry, I said th this particular band, Sky Drifter, is out of uh, Nevada. Just for heads oh, up. Oh, right on. So you dig it? That that one's okay. Dude, yeah, sorry. And I, I, this song reminds me of a band called TTNG. TTNG. That's a great song. I like what I just heard there. I'm going to add them. Sky Drifter. Yeah, they got a bunch of bangers for sure. Your trivia regarding Super Bad. Here we go. 
In the movie, Michael Sarah plays a character called Seth. What type of vehicle does Seth drive in the movie? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know this detail. I forget. Okay, we'll see if oh. Chad can get it before I say the answer. They'll get the spin. Up next is Tragic Bloody Fools. It's only a game. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Let's put them in. Dude. If Alter Bridge and, and Chris Cornell fact, that would be that bad. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Tragic. Wow, that was a great song. Great drum tones. Bloody Fools. It's Same with the last song. Great drum tones on that song too. Like really well done. Who do you go to for uh for most of your recordings? Who does your audio recordings for for Revive? Um in, in Canada here, uh we our uh, self titled record was was done. Uh, an old church that was converted into a studio called uh, Catherine North Studios. And a lot of bands came out of there in Canada that are well-known, such as City and Color, uh, uh, the Arkells, Big Wreck, Glorious Sons. Uh, so, yeah, a lot, a lot of good stuff's come out of there. But we recently recorded in Vaughan, which is Toronto, Ontario, uh, called, at Happy Hippie Studios with producer Brian Monkars. Happy who actually hippie. mixed Alice Cooper's last record, so that was kind of cool. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, yeah. What song in your catalog do we absolutely have to hear? Um, I would I would say Bad Blood by uh, right there. I think that's one of our best songs, I would say. Is there a video for it? There is a video, yes. Okay, so I'm going to play the video. I'm all about the music videos, my dude. If you guys could, please, though, if you're watching, hit the follow button. <laughs> On Spotify for Revive the Rose for any of that be awesome. But I'll jump over real quick and uh, go to Thank Bad Blood. You follow. <laughs> oh, yeah, my pleasure. You like wrestling, man? I love wrestling. I do love wrestling. In fact, I love yeah. wrestling so much that it's it's been bothering me something in behind you. Like, it, if you look behind you, there's this weird guitar thing. Uh, if over your left shoulder, it's over your left shoulder. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. It doesn't, doesn't matter what it is. <laughs> because it's time for another revive the rose song right now. You fell right into my trap. Before it drops, you would say this is probably like the fan favorite. Usually say this for like end of the set song. Um, no, this is this is usually mid set because uh. It's kind of a, like a darker tune, so we don't like to end it or start the set, like, essentially, you know what I mean? But we kind of like to hit people right in the middle of the set, like, you know, when, uh, hey, this is my girlfriend. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> is there... Uh, we put bad in the middle usually just because it's it's not really uh, happy or, uh, uh, you know, we don't want to end on a sad note either, so it's kind of like a feels hitter, you know? Regarding the music industry, what is the best advice anyone's ever given you? Best advice I've gotten was uh, don't be a dick. <laughs> Honestly, good advice. I, uh, I used to overthink a lot of how I networked and how I, uh, you know, just kind of moved up and stuff like that and got, got to get where I am. And uh, I just stuck to my guns and, uh, and uh, I just, you know, kept the same morals I've always kept as a dude. And I, I never overthought doing business and I never overthought my band's image and everything's just good vibes. And I, that's, that's, that's the best advice I ever got was don't be a dick and have fun. So I like uh, that. That was, yeah. But for some reason you wrote a song called bad blood, even though you're all about good <laughs> vibes. Why did you write bad blood? Uh, well, funny story. Actually, I wrote this song when I was in high school. So we're talking, However long ago 2013 was, that's when I wrote this song specifically in my old band, and I brought it over to Revive the Rose. But I wrote this song um, with my bandmate, and I, I, he wrote it about, um, like, the, the thesis of the song started with uh, an argument he got in with his mom, actually. And then, like, we were just kind of, like, bouncing ideas off each other, and then this song came to be, so... Uh, but it was it, it rooted from an argument that uh, his parents were like beefing with him for some reason. But uh, yeah, that's how that came to be. Let's check it out. What do you say, uh, Serena? That's her name in the video right there. You need to check out the band, the Mandevilles. 
Um, they're an, a fantastic band, and that's what band she's in. Um, spell spell it for me. Could... The man. M A N D E V I L L E S. Yeah, Mandeville's band. We'll check it right uh, out. Junk. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll check. We'll check it out right after this. I think this is actually my favorite of yours. Uh, that one's so good. I have a really Thank wild, you. weird question for you. You're in a yes. museum, and every album that ever exists in history is in this museum. But a fire starts, and you can only take one album out to save, aka the greatest album ever made. Andy, who made it? Oh, fuck, man. Uh, <laughs> shit. Um, I, I would be happy if I was stuck with uh, Dookie by Green Day for the rest of my life. I would be very happy with that. That's a good one. It's <laughs> a good call. There's a lot of really good jams on that one, for sure. Totally, and, uh, man. I remember exactly where I was when my buddy t showed me Green Day Dookie. I was in, like, summer camp. I had to have been, like, eight or nine years old. And someone was like, check this out. And I remember looking at the cover and I was like, what the? Hey, yo, what the fuck? There's poop bombs all over the place. Like, I want to hear it. <laughs> That's like my, that was like my first thought when I saw that cover. I was like, I got to hear it just because the cover's so weird. Uh, as a seven oh, or eight year old, you know? It's fantastic. I love their whole vibe, man. They're, they're just like, they're unreal. I love Green Day so much. After, after the tour, uh, what can we expect from the band for the rest of 2022? Um, well, you can expect uh, more touring, um, and we're going to do our second uh, hometown festival that we started doing last year. Uh, long story long, our band made a beer uh, for one of our, our hockey songs called what? Fire Down. Oh, yeah. did, do you have a video for the hockey song too, right? Yeah, and uh, the reason why we made a beer for it is because the Toronto Maple Leafs ended up picking it up. And then it got in the video game EA Sports NHL 21. So we made a beer during the pandemic because we couldn't tour. So we're like, well, apparently beer's essential. So yeah, we made beer. And then, uh, yeah, and then they, like, they still play it to this day at the hockey games, the Toronto Maple Leaf games. So uh, are, are you a gamer uh, normally, like prior to all uh, of this happening? I'm not, a, not, I'm not a cheller, but. Uh, I'm totally like a Nintendo Switch kind of dude. That's cool. So, so Minecraft. Minecraft. what what is what is the feeling like when you're like, holy sh? We're gonna be in an EA Sports video game that millions of people are gonna play. Like, what was that moment like? To, to me, that's kind of a, one of a bigger bigger moments. Like as a as a local band, you know what I mean? Like when you get that video game plug. Like, what was that like? It, dude it was it was like so surreal man like and like even just like the excitement like to announce it like we were just so pumped and like we like it was just nice to see our homies like stoked too because like in canada like hockey's a big deal too right so like i grew up around friends that love hockey and play nhl 21 like all the time and like or at the nhl series mind you and um like it was just like a, such a full circle moment because i grew up being around this video game and my friends loving it and stuff like that. And uh, just so many emotions like at once, you know what I mean? But uh, that is cool. Yeah. And it's cool. You can, like, you can like set our song as like your goal song. It's like it's so fucking cool. It's, like, that is you know? awesome. Bar down, baby. Hanging out with Andy, revive the rose. If you guys are feeling it, man, please, please, please hit the subscribe button. Show them some love. Before, were you doing vocals before you were drumming? Or did that kind no. of... No. Um, well, uh, first of all, I got a haircut since that music video. Second <laughs> of all, um, my mom's actually um, a, a, a professional singer. She does Broadway and jazz singing and uh, uh, a lot of voiceover work and stuff. So I, I kind of grew up around it. And uh, I, uh, I don't know, man. I just always was fascinated by it. And... Uh, I uh, I think having uh, I have what's called a perfect pitch for a musician, so I can I can hear notes and I can tell I can I know what they are without even looking at them. So I feel like that helped me train. As far as like as far as like 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 uh, writing music, like this is an A flat, like you can hear a note and know what what note it is. Are like you saying it like that? Yeah. Well, what's cool is I, I was laughing too because uh, 
your your uh, your blowhorn sound is in the same key as bar down. It's in the it, it ends up in the key of D like when it rings out. So it, like kind of fit at the same time. Like it was it was cool. <laughs> My brain didn't doesn't process all that. I just hit I just hit the bell button. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, we got time for one more question. Um, what is what is something about you that that we have we don't know that I don't know, I guess maybe like uh, your favorite pastime that we wouldn't expect, like a hobby of yours that uh, most people wouldn't expect that you you do on the side to pass time or you just generally collect this thing or something. Um, yeah, man, uh, I guess like a, a pastime thing I like to do. Um... I go. I like. I like to run recently. That's a. It's a thing I like to do, and uh, I also like to. Uh, I like. I like. I like uh, drawing uh, a lot. I, I do a lot of. Uh, my my original dream was uh, to be uh, an animator, actually, and I was going to go pursue that. And then uh, I just. Uh, I, I realized I love music too much, so I just. I really put all my focus there more. But it's cool because I can draw cool like posters and stuff but when, when like you say animator, animator did you have the voices to back it up like like almost like a de uh, like demoing a cartoon or something like i will uh i animating and voice acting is specifically actually what i would i would love to do in the uh, voice acting specifically i'd still love to pursue that eventually but uh, uh yeah i guess so like both go hand in hand i'd, I'd love to do like uh i love like those flash cartoons like uh uh, shout to Oni NG, freaking, uh, you know, Game Grumps, like those guys, like Eagle Raptor and those guys. Like, I love all that shit. So, uh, do you have any? Uh, can you uh, leave us? Can you leave us with uh, an impression? Do you have like an impression or or a or a comic voice, a cartoon voice that you're that you've mastered that you could leave us with? Um, uh, pe people people say I do a good chain smoker. I guess uh, I I don't know. I I guess I could uh, I could sound like this if you want. <laughs> I uh I, I sound like I I've been smoking for twenty five years straight and I haven't stopped. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. That's not bad. <laughs> Hell yeah, Andy. One last uh, one one last time. Uh, plug or promote anything one more time. Uh, maybe all your social media links and uh, the tour one more time, please. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. I, uh, thanks for having me, by the way. And, Thank uh, you. Uh, yeah, you can follow Revive the Rose at at Revive the Rose and. Uh, we're actually playing a really big show tomorrow in front of a thousand people, uh, opening for a band called The Trues here in Canada. Uh, so we're really excited for that. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be touring with Adam and the Metal Hawks this May, uh, May 25th to May 29th, and more dates to be announced. So uh, yeah, <laughs> that is awesome, ladies and gentlemen. Andy. Revive the Rose. Stay safe on the road, brother. I appreciate you so much for, for hanging out once again and just being a down-to-earth cool guy and always being so positive and and just being awesome, man, for real. I appreciate you, brother. Dude, likewise, man. You're a great dude, man. Uh, it's a pleasure coming on here and uh, finally, I guess, being able to talk uh, for the first time like uh, uh, video-wise, I guess. Uh, but, man, uh, I, I, the, the community really appreciates what you do, man. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Andy, hey, revive the rose. Man. Oh yeah, thank you. Uh, if if you if you could or you know anybody, just share that uh, GoFundMe link. There's thousands and thousands of dollars we have to come up with to put it on. But we have five months to figure it out. Major headliner announced on a later date. That's basically all but secured, and that's when everything is going to go absolutely ballistic. But we're trying to do. We're trying to oh, hold yeah. off on that for a little bit. But man, stay safe on the road, and congratulations again, dude. Nothing but success in 2022 for you. Please, please, please uh, don't be a stranger and come hang out with us again. Sounds great, man. You have you have yourself a great uh, great night and a great weekend, my dude. You as well, sir. Andy, revive the rest. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Cheers, brother. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Thank you.